are two crazies from South Africa, that's Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck it all and we are now living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. So we tried in the Bahamas, it did not work. But check this out. I put it here on a fishing rod. That's a, that's a starling dishy. So it's not shading the... And you can see we are moving. It's not shading the solar panels. And I spit it there and hope for the best. The Bahamas is still there, so we're just, just outside the Bahamas range. We are online and the Starlink is working. <laughs> upload. Oh no, sorry, first one download, 20 upload. That's actually bloody impressive. Look at that. <laughs> I'm happy. We're up here in the Gulf, so it's not that we are standing still. We just left Bahamas, there's Freeport, that was our two anchor spots for a few days where we were looking and waiting for wind. And of course that's Florida. So we are on our way, if you can see the route, to way, way, way past Hatteras. So that's one of the points that we need to check out for the weather and current. And then we keep, we stay into the, into the Gulf Stream. And then jump out to go to Long Island. Well, the tip of Long Island. And that is the Big Apple, New York. So Pietro is the, the skipper for today. <laughs> no movies for, the movie is already finished and uploaded. So you guys will watch it while we're on the passage. No wind, even though GFS predicted that we will have a lot of wind. The European model say we will have no wind. The wind is somewhere there, I think, where the clouds eh, is. But it's predicted at 12 o'clock, around 12 o'clock, it will start picking up for us. And guess what? Starlink is still up and running. We put our fishing lines out. Let's see if we catch some dinner for tonight. We are currently motoring, no wind as you can see, very, very quiet and no land in sight. And Pietro is busy with a video call, check that out. Yeah. Huh? This is my baby in New Zealand and we're ah, doing a video call yeah. on Starlink and that's my baby girl. <laughs> uh, no wind and it was predicted a lot of wind. So still no wind. I don't know what is the predictions going doing here in the US, but it's not working at all. Just check it out. But in Florida, a lot of thunderstorms and lightning strikes. I hope not that is the wind I predicted. <laughs> it's going to be not fun. So the wind from well from nothing to reef. Look at this. Yes, it was just crazy. <laughs> I hope we are okay. Man, that was fast. We saw uh, the clouds coming and that might be our ride, the wind, and we're like, ah, yes. And then the next moment, We've been hit with, yeah, now it's already again 32, look at that. And that? And that is a stain. <laughs> it, it doesn't gust, it gust up to 37. And that is the time it took me to bring in the fishing lines. Did it now that was like, like I was still sitting here. I was fine. Yeah, yeah. Was like, we had eight like, knots of wind. It's just crazy. I just took in the line. <laughs> just look at this. And 
And the Starlink is still working. This was not predicted at all. Nothing, nada. This is just crazy. I guess this is a squall, eh? So this is, see. I think, a front. The front yeah. just hit us. On a little Genoa. What, what's our speed now? Wow. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Check this. Wow. 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 Man. Okay. So the Starlink is still online. We're doing now around 9 knots speed over ground. And this is a wind situation, a parent wind. Our speed over water. And also the true wind. Oh, sorry, I'm going crazy. It, the only thing that Starlink did was it moved position, but it's still there. Right, and it's in a fishing rod holder, so I hope it stays there. <laughs> but this is this is now nice sailing. Every now and then, oh, you cannot see, but every now and then we go here up to nine, nine knots, and sometimes nine point five. Look, Arr! but it's we we going quite bouncy. Every now and then. Um, But yeah, again, video is not showing exactly what the feelings on the boat are. <laughs> it is kind of like unemotional to have a video taking all the hectic stuff what's happening on the boat. Um, and I see the wind is again changing because the Genoa is, is not happy. But yeah, look, 9.2. Okay, looks a little bit more happy. Yeah, the wind. So, this is the, the true wind. And that is the parent wind. So here you can see, wow, man, I hate it when this happens. This, this is when we're getting a, a big blow or a gust. And then these lines are just getting tighter. So this one is so, so tight it's like a it's like a steel rod over there. So <sighs> okay, back to the screen. <laughs> so that is our speed um, that we go according to the satellite, so speed over ground. And this is the speed through water. So between those two and the current that's pushing us, you can see that we have a 1.6 1.6 knots of stream and this is a Gulf Stream so we're just touching the Gulf Stream is mainly over here going up here so we need to reach that line but now because of the wind we are getting so close to the wind and uh, the waves is hitting us now from the side so we don't want to do too much of that as you can see our Sisus is going up and down a little bit and of course the GoPro is also smoothing things out of the horizon so luckily you guys will just see the bouncing and not really the the ocean whoa like that you see so even now <laughs> and then I can hear stuff falling in the boat <laughs> what was that? the solar maker and the candles yep I need a tube. So we are still sailing. Oh, we also put up the code D. The wind has died down considerably. But there's just too much, too much grass in the ocean. So we, it's like this yellow grass. So our fishing lines are in. As we are fishing more grass, then we actually want to handle at this moment.
there on, on the horizon there's one and just before the Cody is another one two warships they are sneaky at night if you don't have radar you cannot see them <laughs> they are very very sneaky hopefully they can see us and I saw last night the helicopter land on, landing on one so they even have facilities to choppers to land we are now getting out of the Gulf Stream. We're taking now kind of like shortcut. Well, that is what the, the weather routing was telling us. So we're jumping out and we will meet the Gulf Stream again somewhere here. And that is Hatteras. Just look at all these wrecks around here. There's so many of them. So this is, according to a very good friend, He's telling us this is the graveyard of the East Coast. And it is because the Gulf Stream is coming here and just keep on going straight. So any wind that's against the Gulf Stream that's coming from basically like these directions is making life miserable. So that is address. So Cape Hatteras, there is Cape Hatteras and we need to pass that so we will pass it close, closest point will be there so we will not getting into any of the wave actions that might be there and uh, the wave is ricocheting because the Gulf is coming up so it must have quite a hectic uh, upswelling and also the wind any wind things that's going to be there we're going to try and be as far as possible away from it and then we go there and there and then Long Island, New York so all, in case you want to know what is all these little red crosses that was suggestions by our friends so we will see how many of them we can we can do so we get hit quite often with a, a side swell and then the KD wants to fold and then it whacks it open again like almost like that and by putting a bunches like this they keep the sails very tight and filled with air so it, we don't get that big whack anymore you see like that in the past it will be a huge noise so we are oh, super relaxed in the Gulf Stream. We're still about you know, a couple of days from Hatteras, so it's still calm. Everything is good. <laughs> we just discovered crazy. Yeah, I need to make sure your charge is up to date. But here in Fort Lauderdale, if you can see that, we could see all the details. So my assumption was is that we have in we have the charts for North America but <laughs> this part is part of the Caribbean so when you come here where we are now heading for like New York then we don't have it you see it's all just polygons so we don't have this charge. But Elon Musk came to this. <laughs> it's just incredible. Check this out. I'm busy downloading a new charts. And we're getting constantly 100 and what's it? 144, 150 megabytes. And that's maybe now an outage. So I'm looking even here. Just check the amazing speeds that you get. You can see the outages even with a couple of oh, sorry. And you can see even with outages with a couple of out outages, we're still maintaining this high speed. It's just 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 incredible. Look at that now. 166 download and five meg upload. Hundred and yes. 150 200 
so that just saved our asses because when we arrive there we will not know we will need to use Navionics in our phones because that is up to date to navigate all those tricky waters there <laughs> so thank you Elon so this is where we are now so you can see South Carolina and there's North Carolina and that point that says fish haven over there that's address and that is a notorious graveyard so we are just following the the stream at this moment the Gulf Stream and hopefully we will get through but we have the main app it's on reef 2 because we're not sure what those clouds are going to do I think that's a front coming again so we need to be ready What's look what I discovered in the freezer mm. we've got lobster oh it so looks so yummy and yes Sam what's this that is capers butter garlic and some spices that we're gonna put on the lobster you're just gonna baste it over oh nice when we do the bob mm. we, we bry the lobster <laughs> bry. oh we're going to bry it we can bry fish as well we don't only bry meat and these stuff yeah okay like this green is green stuff. stuff this is salad stuff is yeah. that Petrus I'll make division it, i'll make it edible for you as well. <laughs> no i don't think so don't. just look what's cooking here whoops sorry the three lobsters, I think they are ready. And we are sailing in a Gulf Stream. Approaching Hatteras. But let us first do this and then we tackle Hatteras. Look at that. This is what it looks like when it's cooked perfectly. All empty. Brilliant. Yep. And this is going to be... And Pietro made me this. I need to figure out what I should do with that. But this, I know what to do. <laughs> Just check it out. They are perfectly good. We are, from Hatteras, we are about 100 miles. From Hatteras, so if you look here, there's the coast and there's Cape Hatteras. So we that's the start of our journey there, and that I will regard as that we are finished. So that is when we that is the the crazy part. We're doing with the current around eight knots, but we only do usable four knots not so good and it started to rain oh, I'm not sure you will be able to see but there's a lot of lightning going on and I'm never a fan of lightning <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting here with a dilemma um, our speed is getting very 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 low as you can see over there so the autopilot is having quite a time trying to, to stay on course so I should start the engine although that we're doing if you can look there we're still doing pretty fast because of the of the current but yes the storm or the rain or whatever you want to call it right around us this is the radar so we're going that direction and yes some clouds and I just saw somewhere there lightning from cloud to ground which is never a good thing for a boat with a huge mast and I think it was around here so it was to this side of us but I'm not sure where this is heading because it's pretty dark the moon is down so I cannot see but look at this I go there I switch on Doppler that's now if you have Doppler effect now you can see the green is going away and the red is coming for us and the grey is so this is the dilemma 
if I switch on the engines and we go faster we will stay with the lightning cloud if I just stay quiet for a while the clouds will move away from us and as well as the lightning so should I start the engine <laughs> should we just drift for a while choices 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 okay so I decided I had to start the engines but not go full speed so if you check it out now we're going say six knots there and then GPS is almost 10 knots but you can see now that cloud wants to become a red so I need to slow down a little bit so it stays green. You see, most of the time it is green, but <laughs> there is some red in it. But it looks like most of it is green, so if I don't go faster than 10 knots, then the storm will outrun us. <laughs> and just like that. We have 21 knots of wind, so without the engine we're going already now fast. So I think we're going to, you see, now we're going to take, we're going back into the storm just because the wind picked up. <laughs> oh, life in a boat. The storm is, oh, it changes all the time. You can see now we have some some daylight already and this is how it looks and sound it is really pumping the wind now I think it's going around 22 and we are approaching Hatteras so this is the so Cape Hatteras is somewhere over there we're quite far away from the coast so we don't have the the ricochet the wave ricochet effect at this moment so we're still okay we just have this nasty gloomy weather but Sisu is moving sunrise look at that our last sunrise before we eat the shore I think from tomorrow we only see skylines with buildings and landmass and so on and there behind me somewhere there some lightning action going on um, I'm not sure you will be able to see it but so we have a storm there and on that side you can maybe just just no, not sure you can see it the moon is setting very very something about 
open sea and and just at this moment very calm <laughs> uh, but it was a good trip so far I think we're going to get out of the Gulf Stream within the next eight hours and then head around that side so the sun is somewhere there and we're going somewhere there to Rhode Island okay. We've got our sails up and it's always good to see a full mainsail and a full Genoa and we, we are wrecked for going fast upwind but we still have our engines on so most of the wind that we generate is from our sails if you look at the sea it's still very calm there's not much happening not yet anyway so for for the whole day we will have the, the main fully up but tonight somewhere just before the shifts we will need to reef it because during the night the wind is going to change for the worse one of the reasons why we put the main up or at least all the sails or as many sails as you can even if there's no wind that little bit of speed that you generate with your engines will create lift in the wing, in the foils, the wing, the aerofoil of the basically the upright wing, and that will increase your speed just that little bit. And since we still have about 170 miles to go that way, uh, even a half knot will make that reduce the time. And we uh, increase the speed with about one knot just by having the sails up, so it works. Thank you. Even if there's a little bit of wind, use your sails. So, apparent wind angle, angle is now about 31 around there. Our speed over ground is about 4 knots. And our speed through water is almost there, 3.7, 3.9, yeah, almost there. And then true wind speed is 11. So with an apparent wind angle of 28, 29, we're not doing too bad. What I did, however, is to put in a barber hauler. So I attach a second line or a third line there, a barber hauler. I brought it all the way in and it comes through there, through here. So what it does, it is actually pulling the, the, the Head sail a little bit in, so the Genoa is a little bit tighter and closer to the to the uh, mast. <coughs> and then also the main is almost centered. Well, I think it is centered, and it's very, very, very stiff. So it's almost like a plank, but you can see it's a little bit shaped, so it's okay. And then the Genoa is just fall, falling in behind it, very, very close gap. But it's because of the barber holder that's coming all the way in and then through that clutch and then to this winch. I think we now even <laughs> I think we're getting now ridiculous. We need to. <laughs> so I see a storm out there or at least a lot of rain and this sea state is also not what predicted and the wind is correctly predicted to come from from the west um, as you can see over there it's coming from the west but that rain was not there and the waves coming from the front from the north is also not predicted so i'm downloading a new set of weather things and uh, let's see <laughs> if it's there okay it has downloaded and if I put this on today, this is the European model here, ECMWF. So let you see if you can see, but you can see there's no no rain. Uh, 
now there's some rain but that is only on Thursday that's that's about two days from now <laughs> since we arrived here in in the US the weather model just never the EC is not accurate the GFS is not accurate Spire is not accurate and then normally we, we trusted Spire and Bahamas Spire was quite okay but over here I never agree to each other and I also never they never correct um, something else else about the reefing system if you reef the right is a little bit softer if you have full sails out it's as if the sails is like pressing you into the right really into each wave and it's like very very bouncy and especially if the catamaran is very buoyant you don't go into the waves you just stay above the waves so it's like very pressing like you're jumping on a spring the whole time but if you're reefed then it's still bouncy but it's not that forcefully pressing into the waves Ons is so 140 mil, daar is New York So as genet Lance New York En dis die sea state En het is nogal bykie, bykie rough en crazy As jy kan sien waar daar voor aan die gang is Dit is <laughs> En het is so rough, oops Dat ek my, my ou rampie daar in die hoekie moet vast wedge Maar Al is die see in die weer hoe rof ons ons is bezig met a braai maar ek moet nog wegsteek want anders kan die wind anders kan die wind net maar ook kus maak en nou is so Peterkie reg nou gaan ons braai <laughs> nou gaan ons braai <laughs> the sea state calm down a little bit but just a little bit <laughs> check our view and sunset So the weather, the wind just came up quite heavily. I see here on the Garmin we have already 31 maximum wind, through wind speed. That's a lot of wind. And um, But the problem is as well, because it's a low pressure system, it's turning the whole time. So it started right from the front, it's now almost almost directly east and because of that the waves is first like like this and then turns like this and then turns like that so you get this interference patterns which make for actually very uncomfortable not interesting just uncomfortable check 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 anyone that thinks the forward cockpit cannot handle water well, it cannot because the water doesn't stay there. <laughs> uh, so it doesn't matter which direction we go, we will run into some some sort of wave from the front. It is pretty hectic up here as well. Um, but these these things on the on our front window is not. It's not really fresh water, it's salt water. So, 
but this wind is predicted by GFS so the other models were completely wrong and GFS were the only one that was working so they were predicting 18 knots even 20 and it's spot on and even the direction is spot on so we're trying to slow down we are trying to slow down by bringing us closer and closer into the wind. So, oh. <laughs> it's, it's really a little bit hectic. We are approaching Block Island. That is Block Island. We are just about two hours. 10 miles, 11 miles, and that is our sunset, and Block Island is over there, you can see some of the lights already there, and over there is Long Island, so the sun is setting over Long Island, and me and Pietro is like, yippee, no more watch tonight, <laughs> <laughs> this is night, I can't remember. Is it 96 or 97 now? It's now we left the, on the 9th. It's 10, now 11, the 15th. 12, 13, 14, six days. Six days. That's okay. Six days. Yeah. Well, how many miles have we taken? And I did shout, America! <laughs> so it's over there. <laughs> but I saw it first because I saw the windmills. Yeah, you saw the windmills. I saw them from very far. Mm. But I didn't shout, I shouted windmill! <laughs> <laughs> so you know where the America is coming from? Uh -uh. The movie 1900. Ah. The guy that was born on a, on a ship and never left the ship. Yeah. He was a very good piano player. Anyway, one of the guys there was always shouting. When I see the Statue of Liberty.